Hello and welcome to another PA Matches cast. I'm Brian Perkis and this is round one of Pace's Six Ways to Awesome Planetary Annihilation Tournament. Got a 1v1 between CDRKF and Starlet. Both players are members of the Promethean Clan, which if you're looking for a clan, I would highly recommend checking out. Beforehand, uh, the two guys were talking about, oh crap, this is going to be a one-sided match. So we'll see if that ends up uh, actually happening. I do know both players, act uh, both of these guys tend to play the live build rather than the PTE build, so they do have experience with that. We'll see. So with that, we do have, with the playing the live build, we do have uh, bot fabricators being OP. Uh, right now, Starlet actually is in the lead. He's got, he's uh, doing better. He got out several fabricators um, and only one combat fabricator while uh, CD, I'll just call him CD, while CD is going for multiple combat fabers first. Interesting difference. Um, uh, Starlet already has some grenadiers heading on out. And is continuing to work on expanding with a large quantity of fabricators. And he's probably going to start uh, maxing out his his uh, metal storage here in a second if he's not careful but he is starting to work on some factories and CD it now has his second factory going up as well as a bot fabricator built those bot fabricators man and there we go Firefly built and We'll start scouting soon. It's one of the benefits of uh, going air. The the it's so much easier to scout those grenadiers. Wherever they went, they're just. What? Well, there's there's one. The grenadiers. Oh, there's the other. Or scouting with ants or whatever. It's just kind of it's very much a crapshoot. There we go. CD has discovered Starlet. And with with these, uh, oh, oh wow, with all these skitters roaming around, it's not going to be long before Starlet f finds CD. And now the bombers are being built. And there are several of these fabricators that are lacking in air support. Uh, we could see uh, some very nice bomber kills here in the next little bit. Getting bomber kills during the opening five, six minutes or so can be really, really big. Because if... Man, so many skitters. Why so many skitters? They're weaponless. Uh, but if if uh, th if he's able to destroy all these fabricators, specifically that combat fabricator, that can really hamper Starlet's uh, expansion. But now we see a ton of ants rolling off as that being assisted by that combat fabricator. And there we go. Bombers are now rolling out, but they're only taking out those skitters, which doesn't do much. And unfortunately, CD. RKF is hurting economy-wise. He's in the negative for both energy and metal. And uh, Starlet over here is doing pretty all right. He focused on... Oh, there we go. There's some bombing runs in, but they're taken out by... taken out by fighters. Um, Starlet focused on economy first and pushed really hard on, on that economy. Which is beneficial in that it uh, it allows it it uh, allowed him to get uh, the economy in order to be able to do this. But at the same time, it left him vulnerable. If CD had uh, gone early harassing with bots or something like that, then he or air he could have been in trouble. Here we go, first first clash of the match. And uh, CD is finally starting to get the, his unit, 
production rolling. He's got those combat fabbers assisting with the with the production. And he's getting his economy on track as well. Expanding in expanding to the north and south. And there we go. First unit uh, units are continuing to clash, but if uh, CD isn't careful, he needs to blob up units or else he's going to take more losses than he can afford. Either way, though, there's a large clump of ants coming in. Very surprised to see uh, Starlet not mixing it up. As a general rule, it's a good idea to uh, mix in infernos or spinners with your with your unit composition if you go with just all one unit it tends to not do very well you can uh, if, if you go all infernos you can kite the enemy if you go all tanks you could bomb them and there are also their effectiveness uh, is all around lowered a group of a smaller group of Infernos and ants will beat a larger group of just ants because the infernos will soak up the incoming damage. Likewise, a group of all ants will beat a group of all infernos because the ants can just kite the infernos. And if you don't have air support, then well, you can get bombed, etc., etc. It's a general rule: a mixed unit composition wins out. But in this case, Starlet has just so outproduced uh, CD, then it's not mattering too, too much. If we look at that mobile count, Starlet has over twice as many uh, units as uh, CD. <laughs> and, got it. and now, uh, now Starlet's units are moving in and flanking. And it's not looking good for uh, CD. He's going to start taking some economy hits and some production hits. But that laser defense tower is putting in some work, and now now CD is uh, doing more damage. So, ooh, some nice, very nice kiting of these infernos by uh, CD. But with all of these units streaming in and all in, and in all directions it's not looking good for CD whenever you attack it's always good to do just this attack from multiple directions at once because it's hard for the defenders to uh, to coordinate these the defense because he can just hit uh, Starlet can just tell all of his units just go over here and hit these metal extractors and they will they'll destroy the metal extractors while he can then micro these attacks and CD has to micro the defenses, and he has to send some units down to deal with these, and some units over there, and it's just, it's, it's a pain. And Infernos, are they going to make it? Oh, not quite making it into that energy field. If they had gotten into that energy field, that would have been a huge, huge win for Starlet. And now here we go, we're starting to see some mixed unit compositions from Starlet. Um, and we've got these uh, ants and infernos moving up through the, the south side of CD's base. These ants down here took out uh, several metal extractors, almost finished off two more. And here we go. See the the ants are, are uh, kiting these infernos, staying out of those infernos short range. Uh, if, look at this. as soon as one of the infernos gets within range, it's good night, Irene. But as long as uh, CD is able to micromanage the attack, then he can uh, come out on top against those infernos. Then you got to be careful of things like this. Pathing is still not the greatest and a work in progress, so you need to prevent your units from forming a line, otherwise they'll just get picked off one by one. Got quite a bit of action going on, but now we've got some large, large clumps of units um, amassed from Starlet, and uh, we're going to see some more attacks from, from Starlet here in a second. Let's take a look at the economy. Wow, both... Pl uh, nope. CD is very hurting for economy. Oh wow, he's got units moving out the backside. 
because uh, Star uh, CD is always on the defensive, it's harder for him to expand. And uh, or because CD is on the defensive, it's harder for him to expand. And Starlet can just attack and attack and just leave his automated expansions to the uh, to the fabricators. So as you can see, CD is hurting economy-wise and uh, is is not able to expand. And what expansions he does have um, are getting destroyed. Very nice use of the bombers to deal with these incoming attacks, though. Very nice. And wow, lot large large groups of units moving in on all directions. Not looking good for CD. But it's definitely not the very one-sided match like was predicted. This is pretty back and forth and pretty entertaining, in my opinion. But it's not not gonna last for much longer. CD just needed to expand more. He needed to uh, to put get more of an economy growing early on. That that very hard push of economy from uh, Starlit as well as the better use of the combat fabbers. He uh, he built several regular fabbers and one whew, excuse me one combat fabber. So that was just. That just worked out better. And Commander is now got to needs to be careful, or he's going to uh, well get destroyed by Infernos. Not even using his Uber Cannon. And boom, down goes the Commander. GG. Well played by both players. Looking forward to see how Starlet does in the rest of the tournament. And thank you, uh, Promethean Clan, for joining us. And again, if, if you're looking for a clan, check out the Promethean Clan. I will put a link in the description. <laughs> CD is saying LOL fail. It looks like he kind of wasn't paying attention to his commander. Never a good thing. Let me know what you think in the comments, and drop me a like and a subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos in the pa in Paces uh, Six Ways to Awesome tournament. I'll see you next time.